Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> oh, no way, I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me. These people are not who you think they are, I promise. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. <laughs> I like what that. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. They don't know that. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, n no. Wait, seriously? 
I know as much as you do. Hmm. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Hmm. <clears throat> interesting. Interesting, interesting. Um uh, maybe I should be provoking. I'm I'm thinking. Hmm. I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. Jesus. Well, I mean, you're not going to stop her from shooting a creature, right? On the night of a full moon. And after she shoots it, if it turns into Chris, then I guess you owe her an there apology. Hack your house. Oh, that looks so like the house out of uh, some Resident Evil. With his redneck family and the ass crack of the woods. Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh. Um. Holy shit! Are you okay, Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh my heck. Hope you guys you have grandma. Oh dude, you did not. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? To find yellow. Shit. We haven't got much time. Um, yeah. We need to explore before we go do stuff, though. So. Oh, I see something. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense.
These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. I just want to say that they go upstairs excruciatingly slow or way too overly cautious. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. I just want to know where, how the hag of Hackett's Quarry plays into all of this. Oh, shit. You think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. Okay, so there's nothing over there. Oh my gosh. So this is all part of the quarry. What are they digging for? I don't remember. Just look at this place. something is in here with us either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought she just grabbed a piece of flesh with her hand a long way down Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah. Why? No reason. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just 
hang out here? Up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. I keep forgetting I have to tap the button a few times. Found a card. No, keep going. Looks promising. Ew, weird spider webs. I don't like them. Thanks, I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol from Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Hmm. You think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? I'm curious to know which one is in the cage. Uh, what the hell happened here? Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. Fuck, Caitlin, this place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Speaking of Emma, where is she at? Wait. What? Oh, that's right. She's in the van. I bet she's turned. Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Oh, right! God. Uh, 
I should have shot. Or I should have ran. Oh, no. No. I've just lost one of my favorite characters. Uh, uh, the game's ruined. It's over. Uninstall. Delete. Delete us. Uh. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. This way. Come on. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Wait, Ryan, don't. Uh. Jeez, man, what are you doing to him down there? There's nothing. We're just keeping them safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. Oh, shit. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. No, it's a bad idea. If you turn it off. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. No. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn it. No. No, no. 
<laughs> no, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. You goddamn piece of shit. Not my little Kaylee. God damn you. What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promise. Fine. Fine. You gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it! You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! Hmm, not a very nice, uh, person, is she? Um... Ah! Oh. Let's help Jacob. Okay, okay, okay. Talk me through it. Okay, so, all I know is you have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Oh, God. I think, I think it's going to be two and, and three. Hey, dude. Nice. All right, now don't fuck it up. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. Oh shit, Laura! What the hell are you doing? Guess who? I, I don't know, I just, I, I felt like hollering out was the wrong thing to do. I hope I just didn't get a bad ending. I feel like I may have. This seems very ominous. Welcome 
back. Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters, only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Hmm. Hmm. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Oh, that didn't look good. Go. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Hmm. I can't believe we just left her. Well, what were we supposed to do? If we hadn't run, we'd still be back there with her, being munched on like fucking after dinner mints. So, scrapyard. That's where we're going? Yep. How'd you know it's there? Saw the sign on the way in. Do you ever pay attention to anything? What if we just, like, Walk to the main road. This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. Mm -mm. What's the hag? So, Ryan and Laura, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, he was being kind of a jerk, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. She did say she had a boyfriend, though. Well, maybe he tuned that part out of her story. <laughs> Probably. Probably thinking about how he can sneak off and be all brooding under a stairway while he works on his abs. What a jerk. What a jerk. Not that it matters, now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. There's a scrapyard. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. A scrapyard in the. Oh shit. Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. 
I think. Oh, look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. Put me down! Easy, Ma. Put me down, you witch! Blow your fucking head off! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Oh, yes! Ma be taken down. Ugh. Okay, we don't need to linger on that. Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, uh, wake up. Wake up. Oh. Wake up, darling. Wake up. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cute. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh no! Um, I don't think he's gonna make it. Don't pull it out. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh, seriously? What is it with people locking doors in their own house? Uh-oh. It's the big guy. We hide. If we block the door, that tells him that we're there. Dude, with that stab wound, he shouldn't be able to really hold his breath for long, if at all. I'm close. Stand by. Over.
That'll stop him. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker. You're a fucker. <laughs> really? Okay. Come on, Lance. No bathroom breaks. I can hear you breathing, little girl. Let's go play the piano. No. No, no, no. There are bears around here. There's not very many bears anymore. Playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. What is that? Wait, wait, ow! Ah! Ah! 
Really? Oh, man. Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Oh, man. I promise you that. Ah, here we go with the holding the brass. first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> oh! Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, fucking hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <sighs> Leave me alone. <sighs> Ow, it really hurts. Dad! <laughs> Well, that, this is probably the end of him. Hey, 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 it's me, it's me. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. You're going to have to bite him so he can get better. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? So sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? <sighs> it's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. 
What? Ryan, if you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? You don't have a choice, bro. We got to do it. We got to be the hero. The hero they need, but we don't want to be. Okay. Bite him in the finger. Uh. Nice and tender for you. <laughs> what? Who says that? Do it. Do it. Om nom 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 nom. Don't pull away. Dude, that can't hurt near as bad okay, as being okay, stabbed wait. in the lung. Now she's going to eat the rest of you. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. Bobby? Fuck. We gotta go. What? We got it. <laughs> They're just all dropping like flies. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped of parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Oh, I don't like that. It scares the crap out of me. Good Lord, I hate that. Oh, what we got in here?
Why? <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. Why? Why does something like this exist? This is a huge junkyard. What's this? Scare him. Seeing this, Caitlin? I have no idea where I'm going in any of this, except dead end. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the other side of that dead end. Or we go through here. 
Oh, good God. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. Well, looks like we go into the creepy tunnel here. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Who's T? Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. Dodgy. You said it. Okay, so we need to go back this way. This time we go through here. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. So, I think we might be looking for an SUV. But where would it be at?
Okay, we came out this way. I guess we go back up here. Wait. There it is. Yes. Found it. It's suspended up in the air. I think that's Laura and Max's car. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. He's got the yellow eyes. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. And welcome back, Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit, okay. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
We got this. We got this, bro. We got this. Oh no, not another one. Stuck under there. But he's about to turn, aren't you? She messed up her back. Dylan? You're going to have to shoot Dylan, aren't you? Rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe hmm. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Huh. What's that? Pray we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Hmm. Was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch.
Sorry, Bobby. You're done. No, no. Oh, 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 poor Lance. Oh. Oh, snap! Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. What? Oh no! The white, don't understand the white wolf. Is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. A wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the, the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. What is it? We did? Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Hmm. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you, we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? <laughs> you had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Wait, what? Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? 
the sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Oh, yes. Yes, good. But I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. I'm thinking... Judgments. One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Whoa. A little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit ominous there, I, I should say. Hmm. The final girl. Nice. Hmm. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, those were his clothes. Interesting. You gotta be kidding me. Interesting. That makes perfect sense then. Okay. Gotta find Laura. <laughs> hmm. It um accentuates his shape. What can I say? Um Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. So I'm not sure what I'm doing as Max. Am I going to get off of the island now? I mean, what am I going to do? What do we have here?
Well, it definitely is on theme. thinking swim to shore why not Somebody up there? That was Caleb, wasn't it? And I got him killed. Fantastic. They're not giving us any any options now. There's no dodging this. From, I guess from here on out, every decision is going to be either literally life or death. Oh my gosh, she's going to be next. I just know it. Okay, nice. Hopefully they realize the campus closed and try the motel up the road. Okay. Okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Hmm. Who we have here? Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar.
Well, she said vantage point. I don't know how much higher up you can get. Unless I go across the other way. over there. Kind of looks like Bilbo Baggins. How long has this guy been here? Maybe I should keep looking. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight sounds about right. Ian? Oh. So Chris killed the camp mascot. That's that's the collar that was in the in the storm cellar. Got it. Do I want to go up here? Let's go up here. Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Busted. for something. So that would be why Chris probably has the um, uh, 
what do you call it? Um, the surveillance stuff. Sort of makes sense, I guess. Okay, so we prepare. Motherfuckers. What what is what is this? Run. Dude, he just broke through a chimney. I don't think the door is going to hold. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh god, he's right behind her. And he fell. Like a big dog. Hide. Try so hard. Oh, frick. <gasps> this may call for a second playthrough. That's all I can say. They're all, they're all dropping. I can't save anyone. Curse you, supermassive games. It's almost like they want you to 
get everyone killed. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Dang. He must messed them up jumping on the car. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! <laughs> what a... Yeah, the one-liners. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... 
I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Hmm. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Ryan? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Mm -hmm. Fucking Jesus Christ. wrong what are you waiting for shoot your stupid girl Stop. 
sure about this? Shoot. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Dang. I'm curious to know what would have happened if we had been like, no, nah, let's not do it. She is not going to be happy. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Oh, ominous. Hmm. Did we somehow survive? Yeah. Dang, poor Max. I bet there was a really interesting song that played right there, but thanks to uh, the broken copyright system, 
I had to turn all the music off, so I bet the impactful ending here is a little bit of a letdown. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some a song or some royalty-free music here whenever I edit this for YouTube. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just... They, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what, it's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so. I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There've been some developments and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well... We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like slice at it with no i don't want you to dull my key just use your fingers but just give me your fucking key anton no give me your fucking key no get your own key not like you lock your door of course i lock my door what are you what are you hiding what am i hiding do you not lock your doors <laughs> no i have nothing to hide you think that ghosts are real but you don't lock your doors no ghosts couldn't open my doors they could walk through my walls anton okay you need to be more concerned with murderers take a look Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're gonna do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine, yes, you. it's, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't 
verify this info. Of but... course you can. What, do I have like a history of not verifying yes, my info? Yes, it's fake. Okay, but I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're gonna present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So oh, so that's what was on the memory card. Camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found... Quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go acres and acres of haunted woods if you say so so i don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god why Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Holy shit, Grace, why didn't you tell me about this? We could get in some serious trouble. It's fine. We don't even know if it's real. Also, it was never actually sent. And what would they even have us cease and desist from doing? Looking for ghosts? We're fine. Signed by Travis Hackett. Why didn't he send it? Beats me. Are you sure we should be publicizing stuff like this? Well, here's my pitch. If anyone wants to talk to us about what we're investigating, then be my guest. As of right now, we've had no indication that what we're doing is anything other than completely legal. I don't know about this. All I know is that usually cease and desists come from not wanting folks to find stuff out. Grace, are we getting mixed up in things that are gonna bite us in the ass? I don't know. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist, a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real 
supernatch shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool. A camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? <laughs> Be honest. If it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear that is a bear to you there is no way that is a bear okay well it uh, a skinny bear okay this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this i've ever seen right it's kind of blurry though blurry and convincing sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh. Yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. Yeah, polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. <laughs> what do you think of this? Oh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I, I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? <sighs> Do you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body evidence they were there this is real stuff grace it's stacking up against the hackets we might yeah. we might actually we got, know something we got a whole flapjack stack of evidence yes so what do we do shut off the podcast and report this to somebody what no <laughs> anton we finally have something going here it's getting juicy guess we have something real we have actual people have actually died this is actually crazy grace you did it just Take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more ass. I am curious as to know why the body was in the lake. Really? Why was there barbed wire and stuff in the lake? That that That's the part I really don't understand. Hmm. I'm curious to know if there's going to be a, a sequence at the end here. Guess we will find out. Video games have a lot of credits. <laughs> so I'll just say this. Um, I think more people lived in this playthrough than my playthrough of Man of Medan. That one was very rough. 
Uh, I think pretty much only one person survived that by the time I was finished. So I, I think, uh, I think I did better. But, oh, man, some of those were just so wrong. Um, Caitlin shouldn't have died. Uh, what threw me off was when the werewolf walked past her and the red lights went away on the sides of the screen, I swore I saw um, Dylan hiding up there like the camera angle changed and i swear i saw what looked like dylan also hiding up there and i kept holding it because it looked like the creature was close to him didn't realize it was all just her or it was just the some effect playing a trick on me so yeah my bad um i think the one i regret the most was abby yeah, that that one shouldn't have happened. Uh I really I don't know what I should have done. I I, I don't know if there was a right way to handle that. I think it was either shoot or run. It was it was one of them. And um yeah, I hesitated. So that one was entirely on me. Um, uh, who's, the, who's the other one? Um, the guy in the cell. I can never remember his name. Jacob? Was that his name? Um, yeah, that one was just entirely unfortunate. Uh, I should have... I should have fought. I should have fought instead of running. Because that was sort of, everything just kind of went downhill from there. I think there may be an actual ending where you um, you can get rid of the entire Hackett family. And I'm curious to know what happens with that. Like, that's what, um, that's what the uh, fortune teller wanted ultimately so i'm really curious to know what happens if you if you go that route if, if you can get the entire hackett family killed and still somehow survive like will they let you leave i mean i don't know don't know i really don't know um i think i do want to give this one another playthrough just to see if i can get some different endings but I don't know if that's something that I'm going to record or if I'm going to stream it. Um, I, I may stream it again. I may do a rerun and see how that works out. But as far as this is concerned, this is probably going to go up on YouTube as is, as a incomplete or imperfect playthrough. Uh yeah. <laughs> oh, and I think I think uh, Max was the one I felt sorry for the most. Oh, that poor guy. I there, there was no way. There was no way. I I I I didn't want to leave him on the island, but I'm like, come on, you can swim. And then he had to go and foreshadow it like that. Like this better have a have a happy ending or something like that. I'm like, oh, dude, why did you have to say that? So that that sucked. Uh, he just literally noped himself right into his own ending with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, didn't really see some of those twists coming. I think as far as these games are concerned, I think this is vastly superior to Man and Medan. And even though I haven't played Little Hope or... Uh, House of Ashes, or is it House of Ash? Can't remember. Um, I think it's superior to those as well. This is a really, really good game, and I, uh, I think it was pretty clever. Uh, it, the game knew what it was trying to be. It was trying to be a uh, a slasher horror film uh, with lots of references to stuff like that. I mean, the only thing they didn't have in here was a cameo by. Um, 
you know, uh, oh, 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 crap, what is his name? Uh, uh, Bruce Campbell. Yeah, the only thing they didn't have was a cameo by Bruce Campbell. So I think that it really worked. I think that the dialogue was work. Uh, the dialogue worked really well. Uh, when it was meant to be cringy, it did so, knowing exactly what it was supposed to be. So I give it a big enthusiastic uh, um, endorsement. You've unlocked the death rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. <gasps> oh my. Hmm. I think I will hit yes on that. Connection to online services has been lost. No! Uh, 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 why? <laughs> okay, that didn't, that didn't work out so well. Um, okay, well, there it is. That is... I did not expect to finish up the quarry in a, a second playthrough, but there it is. That is all of the quarry. Um... I liked it. I thought it was good. Um, and I'm definitely going to play it again. I might I might stream it again soon. I might do a restream of it. So look forward to that in the near future. Uh, so uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. I hope everyone enjoyed it. For all my YouTube viewers, uh, thank you so much for enduring uh, my uh, shenanigans. And I uh, hope that you liked the video. If you did, you know what to do hit the like button subscribe for more if you haven't already and uh i will see you all in the next video